This is Turnbuckle TV, the home of UK independent wrestling on demand. Okay, good times. Let's see what happens. <coughs> Put your phone down. We're doing a show. I hope you got that on mute. On mute. It's your boy Santiago. We're here on Turnbuckle TV. It's Santiago Sundays, and I'm here with my good friend, Good Times, David Miles. How's it going? Okay, you ready to watch some wrestling? Right, let's do it. One hell of a match in store here. That's right, we've got Robbie Brookside versus James Mason. I've already told that bloody it's going to be a technical masterclass. Well, it'll be technically a, a wrestling match, I suppose. <laughs> Perhaps. Let's see what happens. We're here at Santiago Sundays live on Turnbuckle TV from 2098. And here's James Mason in his lovely glittery jacket. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice little cartwheel there. He's hard. And he's greeting the fans with his hardness. <laughs> and his shiny jacket. Indeed, everyone seems happy to see him. Well, why wouldn't you be happy to see James Mason? Well... Wasn't James Mason an actor? I believe he was. Yeah. What movies do you remember him from, Sassy Arthur? I'm not entirely sure, actually. I can't remember any movies with James. I don't even know. I don't recognise this guy. Apart from wrestling. Yeah, I don't wrestling recognise him from movies. <laughs> he got the brains from bloody rockin' or sonny, eh? You! Oh, I've got Ron Atkinson again as the announcer. Indeed. Oh, Blake. Old Robbie's going to make him wait. Definitely had a little discussion about not the 9 o'clock news there, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Just milking that entrance. Sure. I kind of hate this when, especially independent wrestlers, have ridiculously long intros. Like, you better bloody well be good now. Exactly. Yeah. You, if you've got like five seconds to ham it up before, like backstage, like get pumped. Like, <laughs> here comes the drop. Here comes the drop. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, that was the the technician. That was just a, a gopher. Oh. That wasn't him. That's very unprofessional. That wasn't him. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, wow, he's come from the side. It's my mum's hair, Robbie <laughs> Brookside. Unbelievable scenes. Here he comes into the ring. Okay, match number five. Now the main is the final round of tournament. This is Do you know what good times? I'm just going to light a candle so it's slightly more romantic in here for us while we watch wrestling today. Ooh, it's Santiago, he's looking a bit fruity. Well, that's the thing, good times. I am quite a fruity guy. Yokozuna in November for the winner of this match. My word, we've seen Yokozuna grace Turnbuckle TV right here at the Bath Pavilion before, and the winner of this match will face the man that is the huge mass, the mountain, the JCB digger that is Yokozuna. <laughs> yes, indeed. Everyone knows who Yokozuna is. Very illustrious history. But it's not about Yokozuna quite now. It's about my mum's hair as Robbie Brookside versus James Freemason. There's the secret handshake and we're off. Code of conduct there? No, that was the secret Masonic handshake that James Mason does before every match. Just to see if he's in the ring with a real Mason. Ah, that makes sense, that makes sense. And here we go, big lock up. Oh. Again, the lock up now. Taking the arm, going. Ooh, what's he going for there? Oh, top wrist lock. And that's, that's right, good times. That's that. right, good times. The top wrist lock right there. Oh, he, oh, he's wrenching it in. He's wrenching it in. And and twisting it over as well. Really working the tendons in that forearm. Definitely, they are having a dance right now. And he, oh, oh, he, oh, that doesn't look nice. Oh, oh, there's a roll through. 
No! The Mason right pushes him down. Oh, Mason. He's got a nice, he, that's a third degree handshake Ooh, he's got there. That's the most definitely, yeah. That's, that uh, cool. You only learn that handshake once you progress through the blue degrees of Freemasonry. Ah, well that makes perfect sense. Well yes, it's James Freemason. Whoa, has the leg drop onto the leg and he's going for the pin. I wouldn't give you the kiss of life, I tell you now if you needed it. Oh, he's grabbing him by the arm, trying to find some leverage. The shoulder is up and he's, he's still on his back. Indeed, uh, now he's put him into the armbar. Brookside rolls through. And again rolling through. Using those crafty Brookside legs. Incredible. Oh, there we go. That is the strength of Mason right there. Excellent footwork. But watch out for those Liverpool legs of Mason, of uh, Robbie Brookside, excuse me. Damn right. They didn't name a soap after him for nothing. That's right. No, he was the soap. He, he played same. every character. It's Robbie Brookside. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Channel 4. I can't believe I, I can't believe I, you're absolutely right, Santiago. Well, I found about out about rap. Sorry, I forgot how to talk. I found out about this through my attorney last week, and he would never lie to me. Oh, oh my word! He flipped, but he how he maintains risk control. Back into the armbar. He and working. He's that. taking it to Brookside. Mason really is showing. How much skill he has on the man. He's got a hold of the hand there and he's trying to bend it back as far as it can go. Oh, that's oh, the seventh it's... degree arch chandler. Oh, oh, oh. Again. again with the secret handshakes from Mason and he's working the rest of the body. Oh, he's having a smell. Uh, and he's oh. having a twist. There we and go. he's oh. going to twist him some more. He doesn't want to smell anymore. Don't blame him. Oh, back into the arm bar he's again. He's really, really owning that arm, isn't he? Good oh, times. there's the nip up. By Brookside. Brookside's going to try and fight back now. He's got him into the headlock, but he's... Oh, amazing strength. Just See the Liverpool legs! There. The Liverpool legs of Brookside kicking in yet again. Definitely, most definitely. What? Oh, and he wrenches him again. Oh. No, that's a... Oh, no! But he keeps out. hold of the arm, good times. He keeps hold of, hold of the arm. Hold of the arm. He keeps hold of the arm, he does! Go for the arm! And now he's working that head. He's working oh, that seventh oh. degree Mason special Chandler lock. That's right. That's a handshake you do not want to feel on a Sunday morning. You can tell the crowd are confuddled by these handshakes. They have no idea what's going on. Well, this that's is... the Illuminati for you. Oh, indeed. You know, they don't want you to know what's going on. Oh, a oh, deep hit hit toss pin. Into the pin. Oh, and there's the kick out. Brookside. Back into the armbar. Brookside is a solid wrestler, and he'll take more of a beating than this. To get the one, two, three good times. Most definitely, most definitely. As we know, we have seen Brookside in many, many matches, including these yeah, early really, startup I... matches back in the uh, early 2000s. What are you talk about? I only saw him on the soap opera Brookside. Oh, he's also been on the soap opera Brookside. He's a busy man. He's a very busy man. And here we go, Brookside standing up to the Mason. Back into the top oh, of the face, he's... fighting out of it. He rolls through again. Right these, under. These what? two gentlemen really know how to wrestle, don't they? Now that is a handshake. Right there! Oh! oh. The undercarriage handshake! My word! Mason takes control but of the game. He is not letting go of that hand. He is working that arm for. Oh. My goodness. Limey. Still. Brookside still just can't hole. seem to get the upper hand here. He is down again. Well, no, he's going to have the broken hand by the end of this match. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. These handshakes aren't to be taken lightly. Nips up yet again. Oh. Liverpool Into the legs. snapmare. Oh, oh, no, snap oh. oh, Mason. Another snapmare. Into the headlock. No, Mason again. Snapmare. It's a snapmare frenzy and he's still got the arm. Oh, and he's got it right behind his back now. Wrenching away. Unbelievable scenes. I cannot believe... The stamina. Oh, well, this Mason is Mason and Brookside. Here. This is the kind of quality that you will see at the Bath Arena. Mason. I mean, the Bath Pavilion. I mean, the Bath Palace. We're in Bath. It's Turnbuckle TV. It's Santiago Sundays, and James Mason really working the arm of oh, Robbie Brookside here. Gosh. I'm here with good times. What do you got to say about that good times? It looks like it hurts. It looks like it hurts a lot. That looks like it's, a bad time. Oh, good it's times. It's a very bad time. It's a very bad time indeed. And look at him. He is still. Brookside's rolling through again. Rolling back. Rolling through. He's and like, he's nipped up. He's like rolling thunder. Oh! oh! 
Taps him right over. Modified Northern Lights. What a manoeuvre. Indeed. And off the ropes. The Irish whip oh, and the Liverpool legs. Oh, yes. He kicked him. He kicked him. That was a toe punt with those in one. Here we go. Oh, he's, oh, he's, gonna, oh, he's working on the leg. He's wrenching that ankle. Mason was going for his arm. Brookside is going for his leg. Look at his hairy chest, though. And you have to admit, that is a very good thing to do. What, have a hairy chest? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Well, to have a hairy chest and to go for the leg. I don't think Robbie Brookside's got a particularly hairy chest. Let's check that out next time he, he wriggles round to the camera view. Well, I'm sure we'll see it once he rolls through again, but at the moment he's working on this leg and it looks like it's... Oh, like he's grabbed him by the big bean head. Oh. He's got a head up there too. Look it's at that nice. beautiful hair though. It's so just beautiful. like my mum's. My mum's hair by Robbie Brookside. Robbie Brookside should probably have a shampoo advert. Most definitely. I can definitely see him working for, you know... Pantene Pro ones. Wrestler. Not Pro V. Pro, pro Wrestler. wrestler. Because pro Graps. Because he's worth it. He is worth it. I mean, with hair like that... God, who needs enemies? Exactly. Exactly. And look, look, and he's Mason got is no hair. a hard time here trying to keep his shoulders up. And he has no hair. He's an oh. He has no hair but friends in high places due to being a Mason. I mean, he's it does help. James Mason. Does. Yes. James the James Freemason. Mason. Mason. I don't actually know if he's a Freemason. <laughs> but here we are. It's turned on the TV. <laughs> oh, that oh. leg twist. That leg twist. This is going to be bad for Mason. As you, as you remember from the, like, the earlier stages, yes. Mason was the one who was in control and he was needing to be on his feet to keep old Bobby Brookside down and now look at him he's in oh that's a modified Indian death lock if I've ever seen one and he, he see this is why you're trouble. here good he times. is in trouble you know the names of all the moves well, I do my best you know you, you, you've got to keep up in the old wrestling scene but the thing is with British wrestling back in these days in particular my oh my it was it was hard work trying to keep up these guys were just technical wizards are you saying these guys are tougher than the current bunch of vanilla midgets? <laughs> well, to say tougher would be a different term, it would be a different way of thinking. I'm, I'm, no. Athletically, things have changed for the better, I would say. But for the better? Think, really? Everyone's short. I like big guys. You do you like big guys? I, I like know big, that muscly idea. guys. Yeah. You know, big wrestlers. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy a cruise away from time to time. But I want to, when I go and see a main event, I want big. Do you not want big? Everyone likes a bit big. Ladies and gentlemen, down in the comments below. Delo? Delo? <laughs> Delo. <laughs> down in the comments below, do you like it big? Hit us up. <laughs> and if you please haven't hit the like or subscribe, or you have hit the like or subscribe, please stay liked and subscribe because I know this is a car crash. It's Santiago <laughs> Sundays here on Turnbuckle TV. It's a pleasure to be here at the Bar Pavilion at some point between 1998 and 2000. There we go, he is locking him up again. So contorted right there. It is not a nice place to be for poor James Mason. Brookside is taking it to him. Brookside really is in charge now. And what's Mason got left in the tank? I mean, he's, uh, he's used a lot of his energy early on holding Robbie Brookside's hand for a lot of this match. You can see he's favouring that leg now. Brookside has definitely done the damage that he's needed to do. He's kicking at that leg every time as well. It's those it's... Liverpool legs that Brookside has, but he, that stang. That was a sting and it's oh, back to that back and that's, that's more or less a Kimura and he's... Oh! Fight him oh. back! A drop kick to the leg! My oh. word. Goodness me. Ref, check him, please. This is not good. We do have the James dance player Mason. yet again. Up. Oh! Shinbreaker! Oh. Shinbreaker! Oh. Beautiful. Uh. Into the figure four! Woo! But can he reverse it? Has he got the strength Ooh. to reverse the polarity oh. of this hold? That is it, it is it. Mason shaking his head. Oh, the pain in his face. He's turned, he's 
he's turning to the side to try and alleviate some of the pain there himself. And Good times, you've got to go all the way if you want to reverse this. You've got to go all oh, the way. You definitely, you've got, to go, you've got to do a full 180 and you've got to send that shooting pain right back at your that's opponent. That's right, that's right. And 90 degrees to the right or left just ain't going to cut it. it you want that full 180. It ain't going to cut it. And also, if Brookside moves to 90 degrees as well, it alleviates it on himself. He can... Right, and we do, we do have a darts player there. So, we, oh, unfortunately, the move's not been turned. But he could have gone 180! Indeed. That's oh, huge oh, suplex. Time suplex. Full cocky pin by Brookside. Oh, I think if he uh, just hooked the leg there, he might have had a better chance of getting the cover. Most definitely, yeah. I think he that was called the Omnibus so Suplex, wasn't it, Good Times? I believe so. One of Brookside's most dangerous episodes, the Omnibus. Well, it's it's a marathon of episodes, isn't it? The it is. Omnibus. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. What's he going for here? He's going up for the Powerbomb. It's almost he's like a crucifix power bomb, maybe. Is he going to try and... He's wriggled oh, out. He's oh, he's gone for the leg himself, but he's gone off the ropes. Oh, that's oh. a pin, but... Ref, he's under the ropes, though. Oh, okay, it's a two count. Oh, the go behind into the full Nelson. He's broken out of it. And into a full Nelson. He's home. got my mum's hair. And, oh, oh. Set, flip, one. Two, no! I've got to say, I don't like the sunset flip. I think it's rough. Oh, there's a sleep. Leapfrog, and oh! There's a crossbody by Mason, and a kick out by Brookside. What? The, oh, Brookside with the underhook suplex! Oh, beautiful! Is this rounds good time? It might well be rounds, you know. Because the bell just went, and... Ladies and gentlemen, after 15 minutes of wrestling, neither wrestling guy has a fall, and every decision is a draw. Oh, a draw? A draw! And we can't have that on Santiago Sundays. No way! There must be a winner, because the winner of this match goes forward to our... There must be a winner. Are Just we going to light another candle. Get on it. It looks like we're going to have some sudden death here. So Jimmy Jones referee has just asked both wrestlers if they want to carry on. Jimmy Jones, dark player. He's like, are you good to continue? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, they look yeah. happy. They look happy to go. My mum's hair versus the Freemason. And here we go. More action to follow. There goes the bell. Who will come out victorious? in this absolutely stunning final match here at the Bath Pavilion in 1992-2008. Yeah, Brookside doesn't seem too happy with what the crowd's saying right here, I tell you that. Oh. And there's the lock-up. Oh, oh, and he gets him straight in the gut. Huge uppercut, another uppercut. There's lots of uppercuts, good My times. My goodness! These men are Back really going for it and now. Brookside takes control. One uppercut too many for Mason there. I think there. he's got another suplex! There's a German suplex! German suplex. German suplex. Into the bridge! One, two, no! Mason's back to his feet. They're circling each other. They're like vultures. And here we go. The vultures fight each other good times. I'd say they're more like, uh, like angry panthers. Like, maybe who are, who are you know, vying for a mate. <laughs> and here we go, is it an octopus, octopus stretch. stretch? That is an octopus stretch. Maybe they're like two, like, two angry octopuses. Oh! Or octopuses. Zai. Octopi? Octopi, I would octopi. say. Octopi. What do you reckon octopi tastes like? Fishy? Probably quite sure fishy. Oh, inky. Oh. Inky? Maybe inky. Yeah, if we, like, it came straight from the sea, I would have to agree. Indeed, and here we go. We've got him he's grabbing him head. by the he's head. He's got him in the cravat there. And one of the regals. Staples is that the cravat? There. That is the cravat. I like a cravat. A cravat is very, very brutal, and it can lead to some great moves, as as you saw. I think it, I think it has some style if you wear a cravat. Oh, definitely. And there's the knee again. He's got him into the corner though, and Brookside whipping. No, it's a reversal by Mason. Brookside into the corner. Oh, oh back, back body, body drop. drop. 
And the cover, it's Mason now, going for the victory. Oh, and it's a kick out by Brookside. Brookside's got so much spunk, hasn't he? He's got oh. so much tenacity. He's not giving up. He wants Yokozuna. He wants it big at the next main event he at the Bath Pavilion. Big. He wants it sweaty, just like he did. Oh, a huge powerbomb. Power one, two, three. And he kicks out, my word. Mason's full of it as well. Hey, wait, oh, is he going for the sharpshooter? Yes, he is. He's got the sharpshooter. I thought that's the Scorpion Deathlock. You can call it what you want, mate. It's then I'm going to call it the Brookside Special. The Brookside Special. 40 minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mason's having a hard time here. He cannot get out of this, but he is going to... Oh, he's giving him a commercial break. Unbelievable. What is he doing here? He had that cinched in so hard, but there we go. Mason under the legs. Goes to the leg himself, but he's oh. through. And... Oh, beautiful British Irish whip! Oh, my word, he's down on him. Two. Oh, oh and it's a reversal into the pin. No. Oh, ankles to the ears. My goodness, my James goodness. Mason really is a technical expert in there. Most definitely. I've been very impressed with both of these great warriors today. You can see that Bobby Brookside's feeling it a bit now. He's getting tired. Oh. There we go, Brookside once again with the lax pin. Oh. Do you know there's one thing I don't like about my mum's hair? And that's how it gets in the way of me seeing Mason's face when he's in pain. Exactly. Oh, and a oh, huge, that's a huge steel steel bone suplex. suplex. My word. You locked that leg there perfectly, but I'm And another suplex, perhaps. Oh, he's being blocked. Try and do it to the rest. And Mason. Mason with the reversal. And they are both down here. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know which way this match is going to go. Into Mason with a cover. One, He's hooked the leg. Two, no. Kick out from Robbie Brookside. Jesus. And people talk about Suplex City these days. We've seen nothing about suplexes. Now he's gone for the Magistral Cradle. One. No, he's Surely the, the ropes. Surely right the ropes got to Right into the ropes. I'm feeling sorry for this ring. It looks like it's a little bit ripped. Oh, into the small package. Into the ropes. This is... Oh, my Perhaps this ring isn't quite big enough. Oh, the oh, body cost... into the ropes again! And I don't think this ring's big enough for these two gentlemen. I honestly this think... This ring ain't big enough for the both of them. ba -da -da -da. And now we've hit more overtime! Heartbeat, increasing heartbeat, and that will continue now, but we don't know who will win the, win the match and face Yoko, Yoko Ozuna, at some book of TV, that's the Yoko Sundays. This was a big in the book of the book! Bow, bow, Yeah, that was quite fun. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got Ron Atkinson's back in the ring. He's checking with the darts player if everything's legit. There must be a winner tonight. There has to be a winner. There has to be a winner. It's been back and forth. The ring has become a huge component here when it comes to rope breaks. Well, maybe it's time for paper, scissors, stone. Maybe. Maybe that should say. Maybe. Rochambeau. I don't think there's ever been a Rochambeau main event in wrestling. You know, a Rochambeau main event? Yeah, it's overdue. It needs to be done. We need to see this right now. <laughs> Well, there's only a handful of wrestling promotions, I think, bold enough to do that kind of kind of business. Anyway, so <laughs> moving on. After your votes, the contest is vote? still a It's no, still a draw. It's still a draw. People phoned in and they voted on who was gonna win. And they're saying it's still a draw. So they both should face Yokozuna. Most definitely. Well, I, I guess. That's it, it's a draw, fellas. Unbelievable. Yeah. Let's see what my mum's hair's got to say. Myself and my ex-tag partner came to battle and won the British Tag Team Championship before any of you were around, before WWF was as big as it was today. We used to come here every month in front of five, six, sometimes even 700 people and kick some serious ass for you people are back. Yeah. There's only 37 people there today. Is there really? Since I've been to Bath, I've been to Bristol again. My attorney count. A few times along the way. But this hall always means something special to me. And to come back tonight and get a, get a final with James Mason, who, in my opinion, is the best 
professional young wrestler, not in Great Britain, not in Europe, maybe even the world today. Technically speaking, this guy is straight ahead of everyone else. Wow, um, praise, um, praise from Robbie Brookside there. A lot of praise there. He should be bigging himself up. Wow, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Robbie Brookside demanding that him and James Mason team up yet again. And they take on the man mountain that is Yokozuna. Does that mean that Yokozuna will bring Fatu along again? I hope so. He's my oos. He's an oos. You're my oos, oos. <laughs> oos. Yeah, oos. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and that brings a close to uh, Turnbuckle TV's. So, I'm rambling. Um, forgot what I was doing. It's Santiago Sundays. Thank you very much for watching. I'm here with David Miles, the party general. Good times. Good times. And have a lovely evening, afternoon, day, whatever you're up to. And bye. Peace, y'all. Party on, dudes. Oh, shut up, you idiot. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off now. Bye.